Coming up next, an eight round bout in the lightweight division. Down of the tape. Carlos Balderas, 7-0, Luis Bai, 21, 13 and 1, 13 year age differential, 6 inch height advantage for Balderas, 10 and a half inch reach advantage for Balderas as well. To the ring, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen from Dignity Health Sports Park here in Carson, California, Premier Boxing Champions continues the action brought to you by MGM Resorts and Brooklyn Boxing. Judging at ringside for this bout, we have Carla Caiz, Alejandro Rochin, and Fernando Villarreal. All right, fans, here we go. Eight rounds of boxing scheduled in the lightweight division. Introducing to you first, on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with red and gold trim, hailing from Puerto Morelos, Quintana Roo, Mexico. His weight, 132 and one quarter pounds. His record, 21 wins, 13 losses and one draw, with eight wins coming by way of knockout. Please welcome Luis Duro Mai. And his opponent, and his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing green trunks with white trim, hailing from Santa Maria, California. He weighed in at 133 and three quarter pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the professional ranks with a record of seven wins, no losses, six wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the 2016 U.S. Olympian and the undefeated professional King Carlos Baldera. And here's our referee in charge now to give instructions, Ray Corona. Okay, just poquito arriba, aquí está bien, okay? Right here is good, touch gloves, God bless. Away we go, outdoors in Carson, California. Scheduled for eight rounds in the lightweight division. Carlos Balderas with approximately 100 friends and family members on hand. Ready? From Listo. Santa Maria, California, two hours from here. And Luis Mai from Cancun, Mexico. We saw during the tail of the tape, 13 year age difference. Mai with 239 rounds during his professional career. Balderas only 15. Yeah, but Paul Darius is the real deal. He's a real prospect, just like Rolando Romero. You're seeing the second one. This kid is going to be champ one day, and he really works a great left hand, like a, a seasoned veteran. I really like Balderas. I watched a lot of his tape. He's really exceptional. He was an Olympian back in 2016, advanced to the quarterfinal round. There's that left hook to the left. I hit the up there, Kenny, but man, watch for that because he's going to work it all night tonight. Yeah, I've watched tape on him, and I like the way he boxes. And, uh, you know, I don't think this fight's going to go long because he throws shots to take you out. And that's, that's how he boxes. Very sharp boxing, and he's going to be a future shot. Yes, and you notice the difference uh, comparatively speaking between uh, uh, Lando Romero and uh, Balderas in, in terms of their um, uh, temperament in the ring. One is a really hyper, and when you say on the semi out of control, and Balderas is really cunning. He's uh, you know he takes his time and he's very accurate. Yeah, I was speaking to May's trainer. Mine's trainer, and he was saying, well, I was saying, what, what is he going to do? He said he's just going to come forward and fight. So he doesn't look like he's coming forward in this fight. Well, Darius has never gone past four rounds. He's knocked down four of his seven opponents in the first round. Well, one thing about mine is, you know, he's, he's got about 40 fights. He's only been stopped three times in his career, but on the other hand, he is fighting up above his normal weight. He's, he's usually fights a couple of, uh, he, he's fought an actual flyweight before, which is 112 Stop. pounds. Here he's back. fighting at 135, but he's older. He's, he's, uh, he, he's, he's 35 years old now, so of course you're going to gain weight, you're going to get bigger. But he's experienced, so let's see what type of uh, 
difficulties he can bring to the table for Valderas. If Valderas can stop him, and, uh, you know, he's doing really well because it's a 45 veteran against a guy who's only at seven fights. Ryan's lost his last three and four of his last five. It's his third straight fight here at this venue, and he's lost the previous two. A look at 35 year old Luis Mai as we welcome you back to BBC Fight Night on FS1. Guys, I know you love seafood and you had the opportunity to meet Luis Mai yesterday. He handed out business cards. He owns a seafood restaurant near Cancun down in Mexico. Yeah, and believe me, I love seafood. I, I love any type of seafood. And um, he's probably going to get more business uh, from that good. little snippet right there than he, the place will probably be packed. <laughs> so if anyone's heading down to the Cancun area, check it out. <laughs> See the gloves? There, there's the gloves. <laughs> you busted me. We set you up, Joe. He was a good-natured guy, too, Mark, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he was. He didn't understand my joke, though. What, what was that? He, I said, I seafood and eat it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> on, a, on a seafood diet, huh? <laughs> 57 degrees. That's not club weather, Joe. Come on. No, no, but I... Uh, he's speechless. Yeah, no, 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 you and it is. So, yeah, I, was just, I came overly prepared this time. You know, last time I came under the building, I paid the price for it, and Lennox took my blanket. Joe, <laughs> keep it warm here at Carson. Well, it, it's it's in the low 50s right now, Kenny. That for Southern California, yeah, that's I know, I know you're a California guy. All the way. I'm glad you didn't mention that I have a London hey, Florida overcoat time. on, too. Last time. We have time. Day, Okay. Uh, well now, I told him last time. Let's go. Well, Darius is getting a little bit of a, a, a being chastised a little bit. Probably, or, I'm sorry, is it uh, my, my. Yeah. Probably for a little blows. He was also warned in the first round. Mine's just trying to get in because, you know, he's a short, he's a short fighter, so he's a, his advantage needs to be inside a little closer so he can get his shots off, but he's not, he's not getting any glory right now. He's not being successful with it. See, and I think Balderas, you know, would probably do himself a big favor if he didn't really have to back up. He, he, he shouldn't have to back up for a guy who's that much smaller than him. Um, now, I know you say keep him at the end of it. You see, he doesn't have to do that. I think he could sit there and just get in the pit and work with this guy. This guy will work on the inside with you, and he's going to be so much more efficient and, and stronger. That, see, that great liver shot, that was not a low blow. That really hurt my right there. That's what I'm talking about. Just walk my down. You, you, you need so much bigger. Why give up any ground with a small man? Maybe he just wants to go through some rounds. Well, you know, you know that can always backfire. You, you know, you go, oh, I'll string it out. I'll get a few extra rounds, and then you get a headbutt, you get an elbow, you get some stitches, then you're out for a few months. So I mean, that can happen. That's true. That's right. So you know, get rid of the guy as quick as you can. It's a dangerous sport, and the less time you spend in the ring, the better. I think he's still figuring it out. I don't think there's anything to figure out. The guy's right there in front of you like that, and there he goes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can you see that? I'm in a two. I'm in a two. You're probably surviving. La campana, the bell. Carlos Balderas with a knockdown of Luis Mai in round two. Oh, and he throws some good body shots right here, Balderas. Here's two, and here another one. And here's the overhand right to put him down on the canvas. Let's go, oh, down, he almost seven. falls. He's down. He's down. Delayed reaction there, but it did the job. 
Well, Darius raised by his grandparents. Mother and father. Stayed down south to work and raise money for the family. They eventually did move to the United States. Well, Darius gives so much credit to his grandfather. He sold an old watch, an old family watch, to, to raise money to help Well, Darius travel and try out for the Olympic team. Oh, great oh, right hand. That's, that's it. it. That's, it. that's it. That's it. Four. Little straight right hand, and then Five. he went right back to that liver. You see Six. that liver shot he's delivering in there? Seven. That's a picture perfect hey. liver shot. Otro vez, Okay, otro vez. Come on, come on. I'm surprised he let this go on. If, okay, otro if, he gets, huh? if he gets labeled one more time, it's, it's over and done. Yeah, I agree with that. Lewis May is a tough guy, but. Yeah. The, big, the bigger guy has the advantage and the strength right now. Just to finish up the story, after Bob Harris represented the United States in the Olympics, he was presented with a special Olympic watch, gave it to his grandfather. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you hurried up with that story because he almost got knocked out. Got to get it in early. And look at Mike, you know, pressing, fighting back. You know, he's, he's just, you know, he's a real warrior, but, you know. Again, why is Balderas even giving up any ground? You've got to finish the job now, okay? He's ready to go. You had him extremely hurt. And here's another thing. The closer you get to a guy, I don't like this left hand down. Right there. So you got hit with the right hand, uh, uh, Balderas. For having leaving that left hand there. The closer a guy gets to you, the higher, that's where his hand should be. When the guy goes, oh, there it is. He's got to call this fight. No, no. Three. That was more of a off Four. balance Four. shot. He, he, he got hit and Six. he was off balance, so he went down. Seven. I get it. One hey. more, you know, one more I legit shot. Let's, but, you know. let's go. This is, turn, this is turning out to be a mismatch here. Here's, here's the knockdown. Well, he, yeah. he hit him with a jab, though. I mean, that it, was, was a, it was a push. I told you he was off balance and he went, he went what, down. Uh, what, a push on the face Joe. with a glove? Joe. Say, I was wrong. Right about <laughs> See, he just did it again. See, it's, it's like a push jab, but, it, but regardless, it hit him in the face with a straight left hand. 20 seconds remaining in round three, scheduled for eight. Hey, look, he hit him with another push. Oh, I'm sorry, jab. <laughs> push jab. Right, right. It's in. We're going to point a new phrase. I, 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 I'm surprised. Balderas didn't really finish the job there. Yeah. Lennox will look back at the action in round three. Oh, he has the body punches. Gruesome body punches. And the right to the what head put him down. Good that good was a good uppercut good. at the end there. Yeah. Oh, there's the, there was a straight right hand that, that put him down. But there's that left hook to the liver. That started it. And that almost ended it. Those really hurt, don't they, Lance? Those liver shots. They do. He's a tough dude, man. Yeah. I mean, to take those kind of punches. And he's, he's, not, he's not even showing it on his face. He's still a warrior in there. Luis, by 35 years of age, matched up with the 22 year old. 2016 U.S. Olympian Carlos Balderas. All right, well, Balderas is playing a little referee as well as fighter right there, but he is getting the ball. But sometimes that's what a fighter will do when they want out of a fight. That's two, two in a row right there. Time, two low blows in a row. One point, low blow. One point, low blow. One point, low blow. Come on, okay? Oh, yeah. All right, don't take revenge. I took a point. Let's go, ten in. You see, my my threw two low blows. Yeah. I mean, those are first. Those are that, and here let me go. tell you, that's the first time I've ever said heard a ref say, "Don't take revenge." Ooh, great! Right. Right there, right there. Well, the best way to take revenge right here is to knock out my, and he should put his hands up, he should march him down, use short jabs, right hands combinations, not back up at all. Don't even worry about the distance, just start pulling some heavy leather, and most likely the referee will stop it. 
That's it. No, that's it. Yeah, that's going in the towel, yeah. And this, that's it. Well, that will do it. Christina. Carlos Paul Parrish remains unbeaten. Well, the corner did his fighter a favor. Yeah, I mean, he wasn't gonna, he wasn't gonna win. He wasn't doing anything to really win. He was really surviving. And here, they, they can see their fighter hurting. And here's, here's the towel coming on the left side, waving off the match. Trainer really did the right thing there. I don't know who that was. That wasn't his trainer that came in. I mean, unless the trainer handed the towel to a commissioner because... Yes, he did. Yeah. He gave it to the commissioner. The commissioner ran up and waved it off. Is that how it works now? You just can't throw in the towel like the old man throw the towel? Well, it would have been easier to throw in right. the towel. I think Mai's happy. Look at him. He's 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 smiling right now. He's 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 a tough guy. He he did his best. He was he was uh, outmatched. This is his uh, third fight in three months here. And uh, you know what? He 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 did the best he could. See, when you move up in weight class, this is what happens. The guys up there are tougher, harder to hit, harder to hurt. All right, here we go. Here's that. Tried to thread the needle with the left hand, that boom, right there. Now, it, it, it did hit him real low on the liver, but it hit him on the body, and it sent him flying. So, Carlos Balderas, victorious, now 8-0, 7 by knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 1 minute 7 seconds in round number 4. A referee in charge, Ray Corona, stops the contest upon request of the corner. He is the winner by way of knockout, and he is still undefeated, King Carlos Balderas. Balderas <laughs> now 8 0, 7 via knockout, as he took down Luis Bai in the fourth round. Uh, here we go with a few of the reruns right here. A little faint left hook made right there. Boom. Nice liver shot. Again, one of his favorite and best shots. Here it goes again. Right on the belt line. A little lower. My didn't like it. It was a left hook right hand, of course. That was the first knockdown. Here's that when we try to thread the middle with the left uppercut. Put the jab out. He's going to come back with the liver shot. Bam. It was a little high. Put him down, though, anyway. And here they're waving in the towel, stopping the fight. What happened? Yeah, the chief second said that he wanted the fight stopped, so the commissioner called this guy over to, to go in there and throw the towel in. Total punches landed and thrown. Valderas, 204 punches thrown, 64 landed, 31% by only 17%. Power punches. Balderas threw 110 by 58. Balderas landing 39% by only 19%. Much more to come from Carson, California. Carlos Balderas celebrates his victory.